um, hello. So the topic that I'm going to present is combined linear congruential algorithm. So as the computing power has increased, so these systems that stimulate have increased in their complexity as well. As a solution to this, to reduce the complexity, what we can do is uh, we can combine two or more multiplicative congruential generators in such a way that it has a good statistical property and will last for a really long time. So the following result from Lekhire suggests how this can be done. So the following is the other steps in combining uh, the generator. So if w i comma one comma w i comma two to w i comma k are considered to be independent discrete value random variables. So uh, k is nothing but the number of generators. Um, so one among them, that is w i comma one can be uniformly distributed on the integers from 0 to mi minus 2, where m is nothing but the modulus value. So how do we calculate wi? wi is nothing but summation of uh, w i comma j, that is j from 1 to k of modulus of uh, minus, uh, sorry, modulus of m of uh, i minus 1. Uh, to see how this uh, result can be actually combined it, to form the combined generator, what we have to assume is the output, that is x i comma 1, x i comma 2 uh, to be the output, that is uh, where uh, i is nothing but the output from the kth uh, multiplicative generator. Uh, now, the j generator has the prime modulus value, that is mj, and we use a multi Plier value that is aj that is chosen that is from period from mj uh, mj minus one that's all so this uh, the j that is j dash generator is producing an integer x i comma j that is op uh, approximately uniformly distributed on i to mj minus one so we calculate this w i comma j value as x of i j minus 1, which is approximately uniformly distributed on 0 to m of j minus 2 i. Now, Lekhaya also suggests how this model can be combined. That is, summation of j equal to 1 to k minus 1 to the power j minus 1 into x of ij modulus of m i minus 1. So, what we find the value here is r i which is uh, when xi value is greater than zero, we compute xi divided by m1. And when xi value is equal to zero, we compute m, m1 minus one divided by m1. So let's actually go through the algorithm and the example. So for a 32-bit compiler, uh, we take the value k is equal to two, that is two generators, with the m1 modulus one value for the first generator to be 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 8, 3, 5, 6, 3, and A1 to be 4, 0, 0, 1, 4. And for the second generator, we have modulus value as uh, 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 8, 3, 3, 9, 9, and A2 to be 4, 0, 6, 9, 2. So the algorithm is as follows. That is step one is nothing but we select a seed value for the first generator. That is X of I comma 0 in that particular range. That is from 1 to m minus 1. So we take that value as 2147435625 for the first generator. And the seed for the second generator is selected from the same range, uh, which is given for the second generator. That is uh, 1, 2, 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 3, 3, 9, 8. One less than the actual modulus value. And we set the value of j as 0. So the next step is nothing but to evaluate each individual generator. So uh, we consider the value uh, x i comma j plus one for the first generator and x two comma j plus one for the second uh, generator. So uh, the value for the first one would be uh, a i into x one comma j mod of m i. So first, um, uh, this answer, uh, sorry, the solution is the uh, four zero zero one four x i one j mod of two one four seven four eight three three five. 6, 3. Similarly, we calculate the same value for x2. So the step 3 is to calculate the xj plus 1 value, that is a combined value, 
So we have uh, the formula as x1, j plus 1 minus x2, j plus 2 modulus of 2147434835162. That is m1 value that we have uh, we have got x1 j plus 1 minus x2 j plus 1 from the previous step. So the third, fourth step is nothing but to return the generator value that is x j plus 1. Now the value of j if it is equal to 0 what we do is we compute 21474835163 divided by 21474835163 or else what do we do is if the value is greater than 0 we see it is uh, greater. So the value calculated is nothing but xj plus 1 which we calculated in step 3 divided by uh, m1 value that is 21474835563. Uh, so the step 5 is nothing but to increment the j value and repeat the steps from step 2. So this is how the combined linear congruential algorithm works. Thank you.